Andreas Grunzi is the father of interventional cardiology. Until he developed a balloon angioplasty, nobody would dare work inside the coronary arteries therapeutically. Grunzi was a remarkable guy. Very flamboyant, strong ego. You'd have to have it to, to do what he did. He projected the image of somebody that was interested in the scientific method, and that was uh, very seductive for many people. He was very careful, very methodical. He was challenged at a variety of levels. I told him in 1976, this is great, you're a dog experiment, but when you do that in an atherosclerotic vessel, it's going to clot, it's going to disrupt, it's going to dissect, it's going to be a mess. How can this possibly work? The next year, he presented the first four patients. And the most dramatic one was this left main patient with a tight stenosis, showed the angiogram, balloon goes in, blows it up, bang, it's open. And everybody was totally uh, shocked and uh, astonished. Mason Soames, the founder of Sky, literally cried. Early on, I think, it, you know, the surgeons thought we were gonna fail. I had five of my six attendings when I was a fellow say, I don't want any part of that. I, that's not gonna work. That's too dangerous. The equipment we had then was very new and very crude and uh, the complications were frequent. Patients were brave. Patients and referring doctors all got caught up in this. There was just this great enthusiasm and you tell a patient, we don't know if we can do this, we're gonna try. That's fine doc, just give it a try. It, it was a, just amazing. Of course, all along the way, these new innovations and new ideas needed to be managed because you can't just do things on patients without having some proof. Mason Soames gets credit for the first coronary angiogram. And then Mel Judkins was a radiologist and he used all the techniques for catheters from the legs. They actually saw that there was a real need to have a society that stood for quality. And the SCA and I, or was the SCA initially, was developed Sky was very important in the development of the specialty. We took it to the American Board of Internal Medicine and said, look, this training does not need to be ad hoc. We need an official specialty of interventional cardiology with the proper examination, and test, and certification. We owe such a debt of gratitude to these people who were creative and thought out of the box to get us to where we are now. These were mavericks who were taking risks, but always with the right intentions, as we, we like to say at Sky, to save and enhance lives.